Here's a few of my Lake Superior agates. I found most of these big ones, at least, uh, about a week ago in a quarry over in eastern Iowa. The rest of them I found in a river just here in central Iowa and in farm fields, too. Here's the biggest one. It's got some nice banding. You can see some reds and yellows and oranges. The different colors are caused by different iron oxide impurities in the quartz. The, the whole agate is considered quartz, uh, silicon dioxide. It's just that the, the colors are caused by different oxidization states of iron and different levels of impurities. You can see that pretty well in this one. You've got an outer layer of, of chalcedony, which is uh, impure quartz that's grown a little bit differently than pure quartz. There's some fibers that are kind of twisted and that allows impurities to enter more readily. And then you've got pure quartz there and then chalcedony again. And the agates are found in basalt that's associated with the Mid-Continent Rift that outcrops up by Lake Superior. The Mid-Continent Rift runs all through the, the uh, North American continent up from, or from uh, Lake Superior all the way down into Kansas and up into Canada a little bit. And here in central Iowa, it's down maybe a mile. I'm not sure how far down. But here's a uh, piece of basalt that's associated with the Mid-Continent Rift. Uh, the Mid-Continent Rift has a lot of, of volcanism associated with it, a lot of volcanoes and basalt, and you can see here there's holes in the rock. These are called amygdules, and they're basically just holes left from carbon dioxide or whatever gas a volcano spews out. They get filled with different minerals. Um, some of these red ones might be feldspar or I don't know, different different minerals. A lot of the times they get filled with, with quartz, though, and you get these nice banded agates out of it. I'm not sure if anybody knows exactly how all the different types of banding form, but here's what an agate looks like that you can't see the inside at all. You can just kind of see the, the outside uh, rind. It just kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know, a rotten potato or something really wouldn't think to pick it up if you didn't know what you're looking at. So that's my Lake Superior agates. Thanks for watching.